Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna start with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Today is the 25th. Yep, the 25th. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Nine of Cups. And the High Font. So, looks like, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Uh, honestly, like, you, you got, you got Taurus and Cappy strong um so there looks like there's a wish fulfillment right someone you could have a feminine masculine that's spiritual non-tradition traditional situationships the person you're dealing with if this is not you is secure okay um upset about a situation um I don't know if someone just poured their heart out because all the caps cups are being poured. So I don't know if if you poured your heart out the feminine. I'm looking at the the depiction of the cards. Normally I, I don't actually normally even do that with the depiction on these cards, but you do have all these feminine. Um so it really just depends. This this masculine that seems to be around you seems to be solid. Energy wise, whether emotional, it doesn't, we don't know yet. Okay. It could be them feeling upset, pouring their heart out, you know. Um, wish, you know, I'm not really looking at this as, as wish fulfillment right this second. I feel like there's something going down within a marriage, a relationship, somebody wanting. The Nine of Cups, somebody wanting to feel more fulfillment within their relationship. So let's go around again. King of Pence, Queen of Wands. So he has her eye. He has his eyes on the Queen of Pence. A Queen of Wands. Sorry about that. Five of Cups is the Ace of Swords. So someone spoke the truth or they're about to. Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords. So somebody is extremely happy with someone. Well, here's the thing. There is some type of fulfillment here, but it's not being... I don't, something's not being delegated. I don't, I don't know what that's forgotten, but somebody can't get their mind off of someone that makes them extremely happy. I don't know if she spoke the truth, if he spoke the truth. You know, a conversation. It was extremely emotional, perhaps. Um, somebody still seems to be all up in their head because somebody obviously made someone, you know, really happy. Let's make it a high response. And then we got whimsy. Okay. So this is whimsical energy. So to me, you're dealing with a Taurus. There's a masculine dealing with a Taurus. It could, it could be vice versa, but <sighs> this is a, a spiritual energy right here. Queen of Wands is extremely spiritual and intuitive. So this is what it looks like for you guys right now. It's either the feminine that can't get their mind off of somebody or vice versa. Um, I'm guessing you would know exactly what that's regarding considering it's the Five of Cups. Okay. Um, so you, But you do have this masculine thinking about a feminine. And, and, and good thoughts, too, you know. Um, so, But it looks like the feminine is in the Five of Cups energy, having a hard time letting go. But if that's the case, so isn't he, okay? Um, so this kind of looks like you're at a standstill. Okay. 
So, let me throw what the problem, let's try to find out what the problem may be. Maybe that can help some of you guys try to get out of the, some of this energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. Blockage. What's the problem? What's the problem? Okay, well, one of the problems is is that somebody needs to move in a new direction and make a decision. Someone's at the crossroads, okay? Thinking about, you know, it, it's the two of ones. It's, there's possibilities. So maybe someone's not thinking of the possibilities. Um, it, it looks like someone is. And then abundance is, is another blockage. So somebody is, is not happy, but we can clearly see that. Obviously, somebody makes someone clearly happy. There is whimsical energy. It, it's just a matter of getting out of the crossroads, making a decision. It also, you know, you're, it's, it's like a blockage, but your best advice, okay? You want the abundance. You want the happiness. You want this. Pick a new route. Don't sit here too long because sitting here too long doesn't help this scenario. So. If this is if you're sitting around and hope someone's coming back to you, I, I suggest you don't do that. Anyone can stay in this energy for a while, right? So if there's an opportunity to, to take a new road and almost the high road, take it. Okay. Um, if you guys are in an argument, you know, someone's gonna take the high road. Compromise. Um and then if it's the other one that needs to make the decision, then that's on them to make the decision. But if you're the one waiting on the decision, I suggest, you know, you, you pick a direction. Because this is, you need, there needs to be mental relief here. And there's none here. Whether this is you or him or... Or you or her, you know what I mean, jelly beans? You're at your crossroads. Okay. So there's a there's a better direction for for everyone involved. You know? So I hope that helps. Alright. I love you guys. Have a good one.